All right, so I've got AT&T Fiber 300, and I'm um, supposed to have 300 megabits upload and 300 megabits download, but as you can see, I'm getting 300 upload, <clears throat> but the download is where I'm having trouble. I've changed all the router settings and um, the ethernet card settings and all that stuff and i've gotten it went from 50 upload to 60 upload uh, but still there's an issue i replaced the cable the ethernet cable to the router that didn't do anything so i'm at the point where i'm going to try a um, network adapter card a new one so the one I have now is an Intel, which is connected to the motherboard, but uh, I have PCI E slots. So I'm going to um, put this TP-Link 10 gigabit um, network adapter card in and, and see how we do. All right, so pretty cut and dry install. Comes with directions, comes with a CD with the driver. There's the card and it comes even with a little short cable that I can't use, but I'll keep it for later. This is a PC that I built. So I've got uh, three slots. So I'm gonna use this top slot. It's a little dusty in there. I should probably uh, vacuum it out. So, all right, so I'll remove this uh, plate here so I can put the card in and then uh, we'll have access to it. All right, so I got the card inserted, got the screw back in over here. So um, we're gonna fire it up and uh, put the CD in so we can load the driver. Okay, got the card installed, computer fired up. Um, and this um, hit the auto run and this comes up, install the following driver. So I click that It installed the driver. So we'll see what kind of speed test we have. All right, so let's see what we got here. Well, that's better already. I'm only supposed to get 300. Oh no, don't tell me. Wow, that's nuts. 31.9, all right, back to the drawing board. So surprise turn of events. I installed the network adapter card and I did a speed test and it was still slow. I couldn't believe it, I was baffled. So I'm like, all right, so maybe it's a, the only thing I haven't done is checked services and startup items. So I went in and I disabled all the services and startup items so I could get a clean boot. And then I restored them a few at a time until I got to this one right here. CFOS speed system service. So apparently this comes with some MSI motherboards and it's an internet traffic shaping service which i've never heard of before but it's supposed to like control the packets and make sure there's no error type things and when i uncheck that box we got good stuff here so that was the deal and here we are Bingo, I'm up to speed, no more headaches. So if you've tried everything else like I did and you couldn't figure it out, go to services. And where is it now? Under device manager, okay? Services tab, and then look for that service that's running and you'll should be good to go once you uncheck that box. Hope it helped. Thanks.